So we are in this side of the garden because we will get this beautiful Craftopetalum Purple Delight. Hi everyone, this is Lassie of Succulent Social. We are here in this part of the garden that has been getting the most sun. That is the reason why this Craftopetalum Purple, Purple Delight are all located here because they are big sun lover um, type of succulents. As you can see, their bright colors are provided to them by the sun. Like this um, small reset, for example, a portion of it was hidden and therefore it's pale as compared to the rest of the reset. However, today we need to take them out from here as we need to do a little bit of maintenance with them. About two weeks ago, this area of the garden has been hardly hit by hail. So as you can see, their leaves have scars, marks, some even have holes from the hail. So today we are going to do a little bit of saving. I have this, uh, my tools here, and I also have prepared a succulent tray where we will be putting the cuttings because today we will be we will do a mixture of stem cutting as well as um, leaf propagation. So leaf propagation is when a leaf like this one grows pop. And when you put them in the soil, eventually the pop will grow bigger and the roots will um, develop and establish. And once they're well rooted or has grown lots of roots then you can transfer them to individual pots such as this and in here they will continue to grow and um, be more established and the reason i'm saying this whole process to you at the onset of this video is just to sort of inspire you that even leaves that are damaged can still continue to grow and can give you something beautiful and oops and um you know, just, just like in life, you, if sometimes you feel that there is already no use of it, or sometimes you think that it is already totally damaged, but something beautiful can still come out of it. Wow, that's so deep. Anyway, so they will continue to grow in this spot, maybe until they're as big as this. All right, so the other part that we will do is the propagation by stem cutting. So that is where we cut um, the stems and when we do so i always try to do um, like a diagonal way just to provide more surface area for roots to grow so the cuttings that we cut <laughs> um, will just be dipped with some cinnamon powder and they will be air dried for a few days when they're completely um, dried and when wound has callus we will plant them in a well draining soil where they will develop roots they will grow and eventually they are a new plant as you notice whenever i cut the stems i also remove some leaves from the rosette so these are either just the lower leaves that have been damaged um, as i try to remove them until I'm happy with the look of the rosette that's left, meaning no more damaged leaves and all the remaining rosettes are in nice shape. When we remove the leaves, like this ones, we don't throw them away, of course. We will propagate them as I've shown you in the earlier part of this video. And for us to be successful with our propagation, we have to remove the leaves in a certain way. So as we do that, we need to make sure that the whole leaf has been plucked out from the rosette. It has to be a clean cut. What do we mean by clean cut? It means that that portion where the leaf is attached to the stem, you have to fully remove the whole leaves. So. Um, as you do that, you just have to pull a little or wiggle a bit and you will hear a snap. Did you hear that? We'll try it again. Snap. 
so that means you actually did a clean cut for some um uh, resets it's easier but for some it will be a bit challenging because they're more compact but try your best because it will give you a more chance of being successful with leaf propagation if your leaf is whole or plucked completely anyway as i continue to cut some more of the resets i just would like to talk more about um maybe how to take care of this purple delight purple delight are known to be sun lovers um that's where they get their color and they're happy to be exposed fully in the sun of course during our summer we have days that hits about 42 45 degrees celsius we are located in melbourne australia and that would be really really hot so in those days I, we will try to put up our um, shade cloth just to ensure that they don't get sunburn but during winter for example um, they're just completely out and they enjoy um, the cold weather as well as the sun during winter watering this is very easy for them they're very drought tolerant they could go for weeks without watering sometimes their pots are already very light which is a clear indication that there's no water or moisture left in the pot but they have a lot of water stored in their leaves as well as in their stem so they'll be fine um, propagation as far as propagation is concerned purple delight is very generous when whenever you cut the stems there would always be pops that will grow and also with leaf propagation they're very easy to grow they 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 continuously give you yeah um i think at this point i just want to mention that whenever you cut the stem it would be good to also put in some cinnamon powder on them just as fungicide and to avoid rotting of the stem so there we go i've already removed some of them i've got a few more to remove in here there we go so all of this um we will just dry them and we will just set them aside first put them in a shaded environment until such time that they're more established and then they're ready to face the whole you know sun exposure Look at this a leaf just fell and it has grown pop it has grown roots um at this stage i just want to show you uh, a comparison between the one that's exposed to sun and one that is that isn't so as you can see the one that is not exposed to sun is really really pale and it's just a cl clear indication that they really want the sun so now i have the resets that we have um cut we will just dip this rosette in cinnamon powder and we will just um, put these leaves aside until they are ready to grow. Since I already have them here with me, I'm also taking this opportunity to repot them. I have bought this Purple Delight pots maybe about one and a half years back and since then their soil has shrunk to almost until the middle of the pot only and i think it's due time for them to be repotted or and at the same time we changed the soil as you can see this the soil has been well it has hardened it's very compact um it's like a cement actually um so it's 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 time for us to remove this soil so what I'm gonna do is I will just carefully well remove all the weeds first and then loosen up the soil um, gently remove the soil to expose the roots I'm not gonna remove all of the soil I will remove a portion of them I don't want to disrupt the roots so much so I will remove just a portion and then we will put them in this soil mix that we have which is very airy 
um, it is great. And even if you do like this with your hand, they don't like crumple together. So I am repurposing this or reusing this old pot that I have here, which is just a perfect size for our purple delight. A little bit of soil at the bottom or at the base of the pot. And then you will put the purple delight on top. Um, and of course we will just put additional soil on the side and just to make sure that all the roots are fully covered and then they will just eventually grow and penetrate through the rest of the new soil that we've just added i think it is also important to mention at this point that since we have a lot of cut stems with open wounds it is best to keep them first in a partially shaded area for a couple of days before we expose them again to sun. Also, if you would need to water them, just please water the roots and avoid getting those cut stems wet because we don't want to um, rot them. Well, the rest of the Purple Delight pots, I would want to combine them in a bigger pot just so I could save more space as well. And so we'll put them all together in this one bigger pot. At the same time, they will have, they still have room for growth. So yeah, there we go. And here are our three pots here and what I'm just trying to do is to add a little bit of cinnamon powder to the cut area and we're good to go that's it here they are ready if you have any questions about purple delight or anything about succulent please leave it the comment section we'll be happy to answer them at the best of our knowledge if you have not done so, please subscribe to our channel as we want to share more with you our succulent videos. So until next time and bye for now.